English is fun with direct speech. Today, boys and girls, you will be learning about direct speech. Do you remember from your grade 4 lessons what direct speech is all about? Let's see if you remember. Direct speech refers to the spoken words of someone. It is the exact words that comes out of a person's mouth. These words are placed within quotation marks. Example, here is a picture of Minnie. Minnie has her hands open and she is saying, it is my birthday. This sentence can be written as, Minnie said, it is my birthday. Take note, her spoken words are within red quotation marks. Our next example is a conversation between two boys. They are Mark and Sam. Mark said, I lost my soccer ball. Sam said, don't cry, we will find it. Take note, the words that came out of Mark's mouth, I lost my soccer ball, has been written within quotation marks. And Sam's words, don't cry, we will find it, has also been written within quotation marks. Rules to follow for direct speech. It is important when writing a sentence in the direct speech to follow these important rules. The first rule has already been explained to you. Use quotation marks before and after the spoken sentence. The second rule is very important. A comma is used to separate the spoken sentence. Now looking at our example, Minnie, it is my birthday, you would find that there is a blue comma that separates the spoken sentence to the rest of the sentence. Our third rule says, use a capital letter at the beginning of the spoken sentence. Our spoken sentence, it is my birthday, there is a capital letter I for the word it. Let's look at other examples. Dad said, please bring me the TV remote. The words the dad spoke were, please bring me the TV remote. And these words are within quotation marks. We have used a blue comma to separate the spoken sentence to the rest of the sentence. And we have a capital letter P in the word please, which is the first word of the spoken sentence. Our second sentence, John asked, can I borrow a reading book? The words that came out of John's mouth, can I borrow a reading book? They have been placed within red quotation marks. We then have a blue comma that separates the spoken sentence to the rest of the sentence. And last but not least, we have a capital letter C for the word can. This summarizes our rules for direct speech. Now we will look at how to write direct speech in different ways. This means the person's name can come in the beginning of a sentence or at the end of the sentence. Let's look at our examples. The first one says, Minnie said, it is my birthday. Or we can write it as, it is my birthday, said Minnie. Take note that the spoken sentence in both the sentences are still within quotation marks. The difference is that the name is either in the beginning of the sentence or at the end. Take note of your punctuation. The quotation marks remain the same, but your comma has moved places. In the first sentence, it is used to separate the word said to the rest of the sentence. In the second example, it is my birthday, comma, said many, and we have a full stop at the end of the sentence. Take note that you cannot have two full stops in a sentence. And in the second example, the comma is still separating the spoken sentence to the rest of the sentence. Other examples are, the fisherman said, I caught a very big fish, or I caught a very big fish, said the fisherman. 
the words that came out of the fisherman's mouth, where I caught a very big fish. And in both the sentences, this sentence, I caught a very big fish, is in quotation marks. The comma has been placed differently in both the sentences, but it is also used to separate the sentence. This, boys and girls, teaches us the two different ways of writing direct speech. Now we will look at sentences that have question marks. The first sentence says, Dad asked, are we having a party for mum? Take note that are we having a party for mum has been written within quotation marks and there is a question mark at the end of the sentence. We can also write it as, are we having a party for mum asked dad? whereby dad's name comes at the end of the sentence. Take note in this example, boys and girls, that the spoken sentence, are we having a party for mum, has still been written within red quotation marks. There is a question mark at the end of the sentence. Therefore, we do not have a comma for an example like this. So if you have a question mark, and if the name comes at the end of the sentence, then we do not use a comma to separate the sentences. There are also other examples with exclamation marks. Kiara shouted, I have a new board game. The spoken sentence, I have a new board game, has been written within quotation marks with an exclamation mark before the ending. Or you could write it as, I have a new board game, shouted Kiara. And in this case, boys and girls, once again, the spoken sentence has been written within red quotation marks. However, the sentence does end with an exclamation mark. Therefore, we do not use a comma. So when writing sentences in the direct speech with a question mark or with an exclamation mark, if the name comes at the end of the sentence, then we do not use a comma to separate the sentences. We include either the question mark or the exclamation mark and our full stops at the end of the sentence. Let's try to remember our rules for direct speech. Rule number one, use quotation marks for spoken words. Rule number two, the spoken sentence must begin with a capital letter. Rule number three, use a comma to separate the spoken sentence from the rest of the sentence. Remember, a sentence cannot have two full stops. And number five, a sentence can have a question mark with a full stop or an exclamation mark with a full stop. Let's look at the examples that have been given. Trish said, I have a new pair of shoes. What color are the shoes? Asked Sarah. They are black and gold, said Trish. Sarah shouted, that sounds beautiful. Take note, boys and girls, that the first sentence has got its quotation marks, its comma, and a capital letter. When we look at the second example, what colour are the shoes, asked Sarah, you would find that we have a question mark at the end of that sentence, therefore we do not have a comma. And if you look at the fourth sentence, Sarah shouted, that sounds beautiful. In that sentence, we have a comma, and we have an exclamation mark. That summarizes our rules for direct speech. Now that we understand the rules for direct speech, let's see if we can attempt this exercise. The first sentence given to us says, Annie said, my pen is lost. The words that came out of Annie's mouth should be, my pen is lost. Therefore, that should be written within red quotation marks. We need to place our comma, which will come after the word said. 
And our first word of the spoken sentence should be in a capital letter, which is capital letter M. Let's look at the second sentence. Did you do your homework? asked my teacher. What words came out of the teacher's mouth? Did you do your homework? Which should be placed within red quotation marks. We do not have a comma in this sentence, boys and girls, simply because the sentence ends with a question mark. And last but not least, we have a capital letter D for the word did. Our third sentence. I need bread and milk from the shop, said mum. What came out of mum's mouth? What did mum say? I need bread and milk from the shop. So that sentence goes within our red quotation marks. We have a comma before the end of the quotation marks to separate the sentence. And we have a capital letter I in the beginning of the sentence. Did you get this right? Did you understand how to punctuate it correctly? I hope you did. In your English booklet for term two, you were given an activity to complete on direct speech. Did you complete this activity? Let's go through these sentences and let's see if you have punctuated them correctly. As I read them aloud, I want you to take note of quotation marks, your comma, your capital letters, question mark if a sentence has an exclamation mark. Number one, mum said, please complete your homework quickly. Number two, you must read this pamphlet on the coronavirus, said dad. Number three, we will wash the dishes today, said the children. Number four, my uncle asked, where is your mask? Number five, let's all watch the news together, said granddad. Number six, when are we going back to school, asked Terence. Number seven, Jarvid said, I can't go to the movies because I am not feeling well. Number eight, you need to stand a meter apart, said the shopkeeper. Number nine, Kelly asked, how long will mum be in hospital? And number 10, I have completed all my schoolwork, said my sister. I hope you had fun checking it and I hope you have learned where to place your quotation marks, your commas, your capital letters, and what to do if a sentence has a question mark with the name at the end of it. Remember, there is no use of a comma in a case like that. Well, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our slideshow presentation on direct speech. I hope you remember your rules, and I hope you know how to write a sentence correctly in direct speech. I have included a picture of Spongebob and he leaves us with a few positive words. If you believe in yourself and with a tiny pinch of magic, all your dreams can come true. Keep on reading and keep on trying to do your best in English.